Hi, this is Russ Hughes, and welcome to these sessions that I've been asked to create for PreSonus on Pro Tools to Studio One Professional. So in this series, what I aim to do is help those who use Pro Tools and who want to use Studio One as well, or those who use Pro Tools and are switching to Studio One, to do that with a minimum of fuss. So we're going to start from the very beginning and then we're going to move through the whole process in different short episodes so you can get up and running quick. Because one of the biggest things is when you go between doors, how can I do this quickly without upsetting my workflow? If you're a professional making money, then you need as little downtime as possible and as little learning time as possible. So in this video series, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So we're going to start at the beginning and we'll start with the startup screen in both DAWs. So on the left, if you're a Pro Tools user, then this should be pretty straightforward. You've got your Create uh, New Session. This is Pro Tools 12 I'm using here. And you give it a name, you create it from a template, or you can use the template group here. So if you turn that on, you can then go down and choose that. And we could choose our group that we work in. I've got my own as well if you want them. You can have songwriter ones. You could choose those. So you can create it from a template, or you can create it from scratch. Then you choose things like the uh, file type, the sample rate, the I.O. that you're using, that's all there, the bit depth, whether the files are interleaved. Now in Pro Tools, when you create uh, audio files, you have the choice of either having a stereo file in two mono files, or if you click the interleave button here, then all your stereo files will be created as a single stereo file. And then it asks you where you want to store all of your recordings. You also then have the recent, where you can go back and see songs that you've recently opened as well. Now I have to say the first time I opened Studio One and I saw the screen that's presented to me versus the screen that's presented to me on the left, I was thinking, wow, what's all this about? So let me go into a little detail to show you how this works. If we hit the Create button here in Pro Tools, that's here in Studio One. So we hit the Create a New Song button here it will open up and give you very similar stuff that you see in Pro Tools. So song title is there and it's there in Pro Tools or we can create from a template if we wish to and here they are on this side. So the template's already there to go. So in Pro Tools you'd have the file type there, WAV or AWF. In Studio One you don't have that but what we do have, we have the sample rates, 44 all the way up to 192. We have the resolution, 16, 24 or 32-bit float, same as Pro Tools. We have the time base we want the session to open in seconds, samples, bars and frames. In Pro Tools you can see all of those at the same time and in Studio One you switch between them. Uh, song length is something that you have in Studio One that you wouldn't have in Pro Tools. Uh, that doesn't really matter. You could put what you like and you can carry on recording beyond that but that's kind of what will appear when you get to the screen. Uh, tempo is also set in Studio One uh, as you set up the session uh, and then time signature. So there's kind of musical based stuff here that you wouldn't see in Pro Tools. Then there's a tick box as well which is stretch audio files to song tempo. So if you tick that all the audio that you bring in then will actually automatically time stretch into the right time as you bring it in. So you can actually change that again when you're actually in the session. So that's there. So let's cancel that for a moment because then you've got the recent stuff here in Pro Tools. And the recent stuff here in Pro Tools is there. And in Studio One, here are your recent files. A slight difference is what some people don't realize is that Studio One allows you to both create songs and master them in the same package. So at the top here, we've got create a new song and create a new project. They're very different. Creating a new song allows you to create a multi-track recording in a DAW. Create a new project is a mastering file and will help you to master that project. And we'll look at that in a little bit of detail later on in the series. So then the recent files will now show me both songs and the mastering projects. You can see them there. They've got the icon of a song and that's got the icon of a project. So that's our recent files. But then they are subdivided into songs and projects. So you can go in and load those. And what we can also do in Studio One, which isn't possible in Pro Tools, is if you right mouse click on anything, you will see versions of that song as they were auto-saved. And you can open any of them from that point. You say, actually, I will have that version instead. If you've created versions of the song as well, you can see those too. So you can version songs in the same file, which is quite cool. It's got a show in the finder option. And you also got remove from recent files list. Now, what makes it 
much more different than Pro Tools, this startup screen, is a lot of other stuff. I can include my artist profile with that stunning picture of me there uh, and some of the details like my website and stuff. That will be embedded when I send out MP3 files or upload them to the web as well. I can include my SoundCloud account there as well. And also, I can get to the setup of my audio device from here as well. So I can set up, uh, can choose which audio device I'm using and set things like the the buffer size. Now that's different and we'll look at that again in detail in a while. Got check for updates there as well in this. And we've also then got this news feed that shows up as well, which gives us the latest news from the team at PreSonus. So as you can see, there's much more complexity, but if you ignore most of this stuff on the right hand side, then it's very similar to Pro Tools to get started and to set up a brand new song. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.